Hi, I'm Ivan Zoot for Jatai Academy. Welcome into another video in our continuing series of educational support for beauty and barber professionals. Today at Jatai Academy, I want to ask a question, and then I want to offer an answer. The question I want to ask is, Instagram, why? That's the question. And you know, it was inspired for me to ask this question by a post I saw recently on Instagram from a beauty and barber professional who was asking the question, what am I doing wrong on Instagram? I don't have enough followers. Is it my hashtagging? What's going on? And I clicked through and I read through some of the comments from people and I found a lot of humor in some of those comments. Certainly some people offered some advice about hashtagging. Other people offered some advice about geolocation tagging. Several people, and it's baffling to me, offered the, the advice that instead of using an iPhone, these individuals should be taking pictures with a much better, more expensive camera, which to me is comedic because the quality of photography from today's iPhones or Samsung phones or a Google Pixel like I have is so incredibly high. Why could you ever need a better camera for the purpose of posting to Instagram? And I looked at all of these responses and I thought through them and then I carefully made my response. And my response to the question was, why do you want the followers on Instagram? And the reason for that, and I think it's important that everyone in the beauty and barber industry who's choosing to participate in Instagram, stop, pause, take a step back and ask the question, why am I here? What do I hope to gain from my participation in Instagram? And I think hopefully in the social media sphere, we've all reached a point where we understand that the number of our followers is not nearly as important as the enthusiasm of our engagement. And what I said in my comment had to do with the fact that I think it is better to have 100 engaged followers than it is to have 10,000 people who kind of just don't care. The other comment that I made was the notion, you cannot pay college tuition for your children with Instagram followers. I didn't say with likes, although likes don't buy a whole lot either. It's the engagement that counts. It's the comments. It's the participation. And I go back to the why is Instagram important? And in the case of beauty and barber professionals, one of the challenges that I see out there is that most beauty and barber professionals that are enthusiastically building followings. And I have friends, colleagues, and associates that have tens and hundreds of time more followers than I have. And I know people that have tens and hundreds of thousands of followers of other beauty and barber professionals. And I'm a firm believer if you're on Instagram to build business, being followed as a barber or cosmetologist by barbers and cosmetologists is not going to fill your chair. We follow one another for inspiration. We follow one another for motivation. We follow one another for creativity. We follow one another for current events. But beauty and barber professionals don't follow beauty and barber professionals to find their next beauty and barber professional that they will actually pay green money to deliver a service. So it go back to why. The post was initially made by an individual who was looking to build their following to build their business at their chair. And I don't believe having five, 500, or 5,000 beauty and barber professionals follow you on your Instagram as a beauty and barber professional, I don't believe that's gonna put one more client in your chair. I do have a suggestion for how you can use Instagram in a powerful way if your goal is to use Instagram to fill your chair. And my suggestion is that you don't use your Instagram. My suggestion is that you use your client's Instagram. Follow me on my logic and thinking. I'm Ivan the hair cutter and let's say I have a thousand followers on Instagram. All thousand of my followers know who I am. They know where I am. They know what I do. They know what I specialize in. They probably know what I charge. And they're either probably beauty and barber professionals, that's just my Instagram, or they're current clients. Current clients. I don't need to advertise to current clients. Current clients aren't going to buy more haircuts from me. Now, Ivan the Haircutter, with all those followers, has a client, Bob the Client. 
And if Bob the client has a hundred followers on Instagram, even if a few of Bob's friends are clients of mine as well, because we tend to serve within communities, let's say Bob the client has 100 followers on Instagram, it is safe to bet that 95 out of 100 of Bob the client's followers don't know me. They don't follow me. They don't know who I am. They don't know what I do. They don't know where I do it. So what I really want is not to share Bob's haircut, take a picture of Bob's new haircut and post it to my Instagram, no. What I wanna do is I wanna say, hey Bob, give me your phone. I want to use Bob's phone to take a picture of Bob's new haircut. Then I want Bob to post Bob's new haircut picture on Bob's Instagram. And in the picture he posts to Instagram, on his Instagram, with his 100 followers, 95 of whom don't know who I am, don't know where I work, don't know what I do, in his haircut photo, tag me. Hey, Ivan at ABC Cuts, cut my hair. I'm looking sharp. Thanks, Ivan. And have me tagged in there. That post has now gone out to Bob's 100 followers, 95 of whom don't know who I am. If 95 of his followers that don't know who I am, if half of them are guys, some of them could be looking for a new hair cutter, that just might get me a new client. And I think that could be a powerful way to use the Instagram platform, not my platform, but my client's platform. Because building a follower base of beauty and barber professionals to follow a beauty and barber professional who's trying to fill their chair. Now, me as an example, I'm trying to encourage people to subscribe to Jatai Academy, Beauty and Barber Professionals. I'm trying to encourage beauty and barber professionals to buy my books and to learn from my books and to follow me for the services and the products and the support that I and folks like Jatai Academy, my sponsor partners, are providing. So my Instagram is being used differently than a stylist who's using Instagram or a barber to fill their chair. So Instagram, why? If you've got a better why or a different why, I'd like to hear about it. And if you've got a technique or a tactic that you use that you have found that allows your Instagram to help you achieve your goals, whatever your goals are, from new haircut customers to marketing products and things, I'd love to hear about it. I'd love to learn a little bit more too. And isn't that what Jatai Academy is all about? About all of us learning about how to build and grow business in the beauty and barber industry. Thanks for watching. Visit us online, jatai.net on the web and ivanzoot.com. Have a great day.